Are you thinking about buying linen bedding? Well, stay tuned because today I'm going to unbox my Bed Threads linen bedding and talk a little bit about linen. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm Joelle, the Everyday Avant Garde, where I talk about all things creative lifestyle. And today I'm gonna to talk about linen bedding. So I just received a package in the mail today. I placed an order from Bed Threads and got the full set because it was cheaper to buy it as a bundle of their linen bedding. And I'm gonna unbox it and share my experience and then do an update as well after I've washed it and like tried it out and all that. And just in case you are thinking about buying it or curious about it. So I've been wanting to give my bedroom a makeover and I really wanted to get a nice bed set that matched and looked cohesive and would be good year round because right now we kind of change up the bedding seasonally and it can be kind of annoying. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to have something really nice and kind of grown up, if that makes sense. So after doing a whole bunch of research, I decided that I wanted to try linen bedding. It seemed really awesome. And here's a few things I just wanted to share about linen that I thought made it really cool. So linen has been used for centuries because it has just so many amazing, really cool properties. One of the main things that sounded really appealing to me about linen is my husband, he gets very hot when he sleeps and sometimes gets sweaty even when it, it's cold outside. So I wanted to find bedding that could help kind of work with that. So it's really good at that. And that's another reason too, I have a lot of people use it in like summer materials. And it's also like kind of temperature regulating. So it can be used year round in the winter time, it'll help keep you warm. And then in the summertime, it'll help keep you cool, which is exactly what I was looking for. It's 20% stronger than cotton when it's wet. And one of the coolest things about this too, in my opinion, is that the more that you wash it, it actually gets softer, which I think is a really neat benefit and that'll be cool to see how it gets like better over time like it's nice to, it's nice to have something that gets better over time not worse over time it's also a highly sustainable fabric because it's made from flax so it's completely natural it's made with like non GMOs uh, it's biodegradable and since it's a natural material I don't have to worry about shedding microplastics whenever I do my laundry it's also hypoallergenic and static resistant. And as if all that stuff wasn't cool enough, it also helps promote healing. It helps naturally fight bacteria and fungus, and it's been used throughout the years for uh, wound bandages. And I was reading too that they used to even have it in all of the hospital bedding because it just helped promote recovery. Again, with the antibacterial and stuff, just kept things more sanitary. And then after all of that stuff, this other thing that I read about linen was even more mind blowing and it kind of then made it all sort of make sense like why linen is so awesome. So in 2003, there was a doctor named Heidi Yellen and she decided to study the uh, frequency of fabric and it was measured in megahertz. So the normal human body in a healthy regular state has an energy frequency of about 100. A sick person has a frequency of about 15. So if you're wearing or using any fabrics that have an energy frequency lower than 100, it can actually compromise your well-being. And it has, I'm, I'm not a scientist, and if you want to study, like look more into this, just Google search the frequency or vibration of linen. And there's a lot of um, different articles that have like all the details more on like the science of it. But yeah, so from the study basically saying you want to stick to, to fabrics that are either at 100 or higher, and linen tested, the highest of all the fabrics she tested, linen and wool were both at 5,000 megahertz. That's crazy. Just remember, the human body is 100, linen, 5,000. It also mentioned in the article too, though, not to wear linen and wool together because they have like different directions of the energy. So they ended up like combating, like counteracting each other. So if you're gonna, if you're gonna stick, like if you're ever gonna use those fabrics, you one or the other. And then it's also like interesting because there's like some Bible quote about how you shouldn't mix fabrics. And um, it's just weird. Cause like, you know, how did they know all this stuff? <laughs> So yeah, for any of my followers, especially that are into like the manifestation, high vibe kind of stuff, I would look into linen because I thought it was really, really interesting. Okay, yeah, so that's my whole spiel on why linen is so awesome. Now let's get to the unboxing of my linen sheets. I did a bunch of research 
when I was trying to figure out which brand to buy from. And there is a lot of really great options out there. I chose Bed Threads because I liked their color option selection and they have an extremely customizable build your own bedding bundle, which I loved where you can pick like every single part of the bedding, duvet cover, pillowcases, sheet, fitted sheet, and you can make them all different sizes or different colors depending on your, depending on your preference. Now also I'll mention that linen can be kind of expensive and I did see there's a pretty decent variety of price points. Just depending on your budget, there's cheaper options available at like Target, Ikea. I think there's a website called Keens that had some good options. So, you know, if, if you're on a budget, you can still find some linen affordably too. Anyways, here we go. Okay, so here's the box. Not very interesting because it's just a box, but... Okay, I'm trying to open this box. I cut off all the tape and it's not opening, which I guess it's not a bad thing. I guess it's more, it's very <laughs> secure packaging. Okay, finally got it open. Now to the unboxing. Boop. We're happy to see you. That's nice. Thanks. It says thank you. And there's a little coupon code on there, which is nice. Um, <clears throat> there's a swatch here with all their other different colors. That's actually cool because sometimes online the picture looks a little bit different. So that's neat to know if I buy from them in the future to have this as like a reference. That's actually really smart that they did this. Uh, packing slip. Okay, here's the first item. Comes in a little linen bag, which is super adorable. So this is the petrol colored standard pillowcase. I'm gonna see how it looks. I'm really curious how this color the color looked really pretty online. I'm curious how it's gonna be in person. And I wanna know how it feels too. I don't know like how many times I'm gonna to need to wash it before I put it on my bed. Because I heard sometimes it can be kind of a little like rough when you first get it. And you know, they recommend washing it at least once before you use it. I also like they use this like, I don't know if it's suede or what, but I'm curious what this material is. It seemed like they're trying to do like no plastic in their packaging which is also really cool. This thing is really tied, but yeah, again, I guess it's good that they keep everything secure. Now there is a little bit of, um, not dust, but like lint going. And I heard that's normal too with linen that like when you get it initially, there's like some kind of like lint has to shed. And that's part of like the process I think that makes it get softer is like shedding some of that, shedding some of those fibers. You know what, honestly, okay, here's how it looks. The color is super pretty. I, I was expecting it to be, um, I was expecting it to be more rough actually from the, from straight out of the package, but it, it feels really soft. I think I'm only gonna have to wash this once, thankfully. Let's just see like how, how big it is. Okay, so this is my, I got two, two of these. So I, I can see, like I have my ring light here and I can see the light through the um, material. So it's not a super like dense weave. Honestly, I'm still, I'm just barely, I, this is my first time buying a linen product. So I'm just like dipping my toe into this, but there's all these different like qualities depending on the brand and the maker and stuff of the thickness of the fabric and all this stuff. But anyway, I mean, it feels good. I like it. I'm just the most excited about like, getting this washed and putting it, putting it all on my bed and seeing how it looks. I'm so excited and sleeping in it, of course. <laughs> so that's the standard pillowcases. Let's see what this one. Okay. This, this is the lavender. I got two standard pillowcases and then I got two European pillowcases. Cause I'm going to put those behind the standard pillowcases when I make the bed. I saw in a TikTok video, that's like how they do it in hotels. So I thought it would look nice. And I ordered some standard pillows on Amazon and I'm waiting for them to arrive. I think they're coming tomorrow. So the bed won't be fully complete in my vision until tomorrow, but it'll be most of the way there by the end of the night, hopefully. Yeah, a little bit of thread came off there. That's probably normal. I mean, it wasn't like attached to the, to the pillowcase. It was just sitting on top. This color is also really pretty. It's almost like a, it's called lavender, but I would say it looks, it's almost like, it has like a very slight purple to it, but I would say it's almost more like a dusty pink, which I really love that color. That's one of my favorite colors. Okay, I'm gonna take this one's out. This one is like a little more like random little like threads and stuff than the other ones. 
Now there, I do see like a, a few little pieces of like, looks like more like cotton fuzz on there. So I'm not sure what that's from. These ones, I, I feel like these ones, okay, I am seeing a lot of the fuzz going around. So I definitely, I'm like worried about my drink now. <laughs> I definitely do need to wash these because <clears throat> that's hopefully gonna <clears throat> take out a lot of the, um these fibers floating around. <sighs> okay, so this one, this is standard. It's pretty big. It's like 26 by 26. I mean, it looks good. It looks like what I was expecting it to look like. I feel like it's a little bit less soft than the blue one, which is weird because on their website, they said that the darker fabrics might be a little more, um, more like less soft, I guess. I don't know. Just inspecting it to make sure there's not any issues with it because this is an investment, you know? If I'm not like 100% satisfied, I want to make sure that, okay, what's this one? Okay, this is a little questionable, honestly. I don't understand what this, why this, because this doesn't even look like the same color. Okay, so there's like this white string here that's like coming, that's like sewn on the pillowcase. It's stuck to, it's part of it, right? That's just really bizarre because this, this, thread is um pink it's not white so i don't understand why a white thread is on here when there's not white threading used i can cut this off it's actually not like a big deal it's not like a reason for me to return it but for the price i paid for these i would expect it to be not having this kind of issue you know what i'm saying thankfully i got my little snips handy right here and i'm gonna fix that but not cool bed thread not cool Need some quality control. I'm not gonna be a Karen about it though. I just hope that there's no other issues um, with anything else. In both of these, like the envelope closure, which is nice. So it goes in here, right? But there's like this extra like flap tucks over your pillow. So it's not gonna be sticking out. And then like, if you're curious what the, they have the instructions on their website, but the tag says, cold gentle mach machine wash, liquid detergent, avoid mixing with other colors. Avoid tumble drying, do not bleach, do not dry clean. But honestly, I really don't wanna to have to do like separate loads to wash these, so I might mix the pink and blue and just hope that it turns out okay. I mean, if it's cold water, I don't think it'll be an issue. Maybe it's more concerning about the other materials getting on it than the this getting on something, I don't know. Okay, so that was a little weird with the thread. I'm just going back and checking the other ones to just give them like a better look because I feel like the blue is much, much softer. And then I'm curious, like, if the duvet cover is going to be as soft as this. It's the same color, but I wonder if the fabric's going to feel the same. Okay, now let's go to the next one. Okay, so this is my duvet cover. We have a queen size bed. <sighs> my apartment is going to be so dusty after this video, y'all. Anyway, we have a queen size bed. We both kind of fight over the blankets. So I decided, like normally we've been sharing a queen blanket, but I thought for this one, I would get a king size. So we don't have that issue of, you know, fighting over the blanket. And then if we ever decide to get a bigger bed, which hopefully we will, but if we decide to get a bigger bed, then we'll already have the bedding to go with it. We won't have to buy a whole new set. Okay. Let's see what we got here. I'm gonna have to find some kind of crafts to do with all these like drawstring bags. I really don't know what I will use them for, but I don't wanna throw them away either. Maybe I'll maybe I'll repurpose the fabric and like make something, I don't know. Okay, yeah, see here's like a random, <laughs> this is a yellow thread. Like where did that come from? That's not a big deal, but it's just kind of, kind of weird to me. Um, these ones are really soft actually. They're as soft as the pillowcases, maybe even a little bit softer, which is, Great, because <laughs> you know, this is the, the duvet cover. Okay, now I'm gonna go and just like, this is a king size, so it's gonna be really hard for me to examine it on camera. Um, so I'm just gonna like take a look real quick and then I'll let you know if anything comes up. Okay, so everything looks good on this duvet cover. And I just wanted to show you um, the bottom because they didn't have any pictures of this on their website, but in case you were like curious about the duvet cover. Okay, so. The buttons, like how you, you know, put it in, it has like um, hidden buttons 
which I like a lot because I'm not a fan of like the showing the buttons on the duvet. Some people like that looks like I've seen ones where they have like cute like coconut buttons and like get, it can be like a nice decorative thing but personally that wasn't really like the vibe I wanted. I didn't like that so I like that it's hidden like that and then the, and the part how you attach your but they do use plastic for the buttons I will say too so like for branding themselves as being like really eco I found some plastic. <laughs> It's not a big deal though. I'm not like, I don't really care about that, honestly, but it would be again for the price. It would have been a nice touch if they used like a wooden button or something more sustainable, eco-friendly. And then, so this is like the inside part. And then this is the, um, there's like a couple of threads here too. I'll just cut those, but that's on the inside. So I don't think that really matters. So it has these like strings that you can attach the duvet insert to. So after I clean all this, I'm gonna try to do that. It's gonna king size. I don't, I've never put a duvet in a king size. It's kind of, kind of like one of those like pain in the butt sort of things to do, but I really wanted the look of a, of a duvet. So it's just a commitment I made. <laughs> okay. Next up is the king size lavender flat sheet. And I'm hoping that these ones aren't as scratchy as the pillows because you know, this is the part that is going to be like touching our body. And this actually is softer than the pillowcase. I'm not sure why that is because it was like the same color and same fabric. I don't know. I know like there can just be like slight differences depending on like the, I don't know, this, the, because they're not using the exact same piece of fabric, right? They're using like a different one as they process. Or maybe it's a slightly different material they use on those pillowcases, like it's woven slightly different. I'm not sure. But this is very soft and I don't think this is gonna take, I think in just one wash, it'll be good to go. I was expect, I was thinking I was gonna have to do it at least like two or three times. So I'm glad that I'm not gonna have to do that. So there's the color. It looks the, the color looks the same as the pillowcase. So I'm just gonna take this over real quick and examine it, make sure there's nothing wrong with it. And then we'll go to the last part. Okay, so I just checked out the flat sheet and overall things looked good. There's just one issue I have, again, with the threading. There's this part here. It's not like cleanly, cleanly done, right? It's not, I'm gonna trim this off, but there's like a kind of like a knot here and like I'm kind of hesitant to trim around that part because I don't know if it's gonna like unravel the, these parts around here. So again, it's not, yeah, it's like, it's like, like it has to be removed or else it's gonna get like stuck on things. And it's just like, it's not a big deal. Again, and like, I don't think I, re I would return it over this as opposed to like, if it had like a rip or a stain on it. And like, I have the proper scissors to, to cut this, but I think, again, for the price, I think this is not, like, I don't think this is, like, good to be sending out like this. They market themselves as, like, being, like, more on the affordable end of linens, but it's still a little pricey, and even if you're marketing yourself as affordable, it should still have quality. <laughs> so, yeah, feels okay. It doesn't feel quite as soft as the blue, but it is softer than the pillows, but this is not cool. Maybe that's why they call it bed threads is because it has like different threads sticking out. Okay, so after trimming this little section, it looks like this now and it looks better. Um, but as you can see, it's not like, it's not like perfectly clean. There's like some kind of tangles in the, in the sewing that happened here. And again, it's not a big deal. I'm just, I'm just a little skeptical about how this is going to hold up in with like you know being used and stuff hopefully hopefully this isn't like really bad craftsmanship that is just gonna like fall apart after a while because i really wanted to like this brand and i really wanted to like these sheets so this isn't a complete deal breaker for me but i expect it better okay and now we have the last item is the lavender fitted sheet Okay, so it looks pretty much just like the other sheet, except this one's gonna be fitted and it's queen size instead of king size. Okay, I'm gonna go inspect this one now and report back. Okay, so on this one, the main issue or like the only issue I really have is like on these, this is the fitted sheet, right? And so like on these corners, the, the threading didn't go all the way. It looks like it could, 
and it's not like back maybe it's back stitch if it's back stitch I think it'll be okay but I do worry like when I put pressure on it if it's gonna like if it's gonna you see that if it's gonna like come undone once it's like has the force of the mattress on it I mean there's not like a hole in it from it yet but I feel like there could potentially be I'm gonna wash it and try it out you know after washing it a couple of times if there's an issue then I'm gonna say something but for the record this issue is existing beforehand so if it gets worse it's not my fault it's a <laughs> yeah so again it's not like a huge deal and hopefully it'll hold up okay i'm just concerned about the longevity of it and again i can repair this myself but i feel like i really shouldn't have to you know what i mean but we'll see we'll see how it holds up after it gets on the washing machine and uh once i put it on my bed okay so i've done the unboxing part and I would say the pros are the colors look true to the website. It does feel soft, but it's not as soft as I would like. However, that's to be expected with linen. I got to really wash it till I'm going to know how soft it can be. And of course, even after the initial washing, it's like, like I mentioned earlier, it will get softer over time, but it feels not too not too rough as I thought it would be initially. So I'm, I'm happy about that. Like saying, I, th I think I'm only gonna have to wash it once before I can use it. However, cons are the stitching was not very impressive to me. And like, I, I sew myself, so I understand, you know, how these sort of problems can occur but I think it would have benefited them to, I don't know if they have somebody that like inspects the product thoroughly before they package it up and stuff, but I would highly recommend to that company that they have somebody do that. Because again, for the money that you're spending on this, I would expect a product to arrive where I don't have to trim all the threads off of it. I did not like that. <laughs> okay, so now I'm gonna throw it in the wash and it's gonna take a little bit, but I will wash it and uh, once it's all set up on my bed, I'm going to show you how it looks and how it feels and give you my sort of final review. So I have washed my linen bedding and if you don't know already, linen bedding does have a little bit of a more kind of high maintenance washing process. You are supposed to wash it gentle on cold water with a liquid gentle detergent and then it says to when you, especially when you're doing it for the first time, to wash the color separately. So I wash the um, the petrol and the lavender separate, and then it says it recommends like not to dry, but that's just not ideal for me in an apartment and in the winter time. So it says if you have to dry, then keep it on low heat and try to take it out while it's still a little bit damp, and then just let it air dry the rest. That is much more easier for me, so I went with that one. And I will say there was a ton of lint in that lint trap. And when I took the sheets out afterwards, there was, and shook it, there was still a little bit coming out, but not nearly as bad as the first time. So I'm just hoping that the more I continue to launder it, that it will be less linty. So let's go to the bedroom and let's put together my bed and we'll see how it all looks. So I've had the bed threads linen bedding for a little over two weeks now and I have washed it a second time since the first time using it. And here is what I think. Honestly, I love it. <laughs> you know how when you have like the cool side of the pillow underneath, I feel like that the linen just has that feeling throughout the whole bed. My first night sleeping in it, I got like my, I always read and have a glass of tea like before I sleep and I had my tea and my book, right? And I just like popped into bed and I was so, like it was so comfortable that I actually fell asleep and I didn't even drink my tea or read the book. Like I fell asleep without realizing it. So yeah. <laughs> and the first night too, when I woke up, I've been having really bad foot pain from serving and my foot pain was gone which I don't know if that, remember I was talking about like the thing about like the frequency of linen and stuff and the healing properties. So I don't know if that had something to do with it. My foot pain unfortunately has since returned, but that was a really interesting side effect. I personally have not been having any kind of heating issues. I feel like even at the, even at the, in the morning when I wake up, the bed still has that really cool feeling to it. And it was funny, the first couple nights when my husband was trying out the bed, when he crawled in, he was like, oh, it's cold. 
And I told him, I was like, well, just like let your body temperature kind of like adjust to it. Like it's not going to stay like cold, but he seems to like it. He does still have some issues sweating while he's sleeping, but I haven't noticed that like when he wakes up, like his clothes might be wet, but the, the sheets themselves and the bedding and the duvet and all that don't feel damp. So that's a huge plus. We'll have to see how it fares in the summertime when the weather gets a little warmer. Although it has had, we have had a few kind of like heat spells here in San Diego, even though it's like still, it's not summertime yet. But one downside is that there is an insane amount of lint. My floor and all of my surfaces like are super dusty. And so I know that that's gonna come out with like more washing. I don't have the patience to like wash it repeatedly until all the lint comes out. I'm just waiting until the next time it's time to actually like do the laundry to see that happen. So be prepared for that for sure. However, I feel like the coolness of the material, the way that it feels makes up for all of that. It is a little, I wouldn't say scratchy. It is a little different than your normal sort of like expectations of I don't know I guess it just takes some getting used to it's soft but it does have a slightly different texture but now that I've been sleeping in it for a couple weeks I, I like it quite a lot and I look forward to going to bed every day and I also <laughs> I guess this is it's like okay, sort of a good thing and a bad thing is I have a lot of trouble now like I already did but it's, it's even worse now getting out of bed in the morning like I don't want to leave it's so comfortable and although I was sort of off put by some of the threading issues when I first unboxed it, thankfully, like after washing and stuff, I haven't noticed any major problems. Nothing's come undone. If anything does come up, I might write to that, their customer service and just explain it. But thankfully that hasn't been an issue. And I would say overall, it's it's been worth it for me. Like I really enjoy it. It feels like I'm sleeping in a hotel bed. It feels very refreshing and luxurious. And going to bed at night is one of my favorite parts of the day. I might do a follow-up review after summer is in full swing and just let you know again how it's been how it's been holding up through washing and use in warmer temperatures. But so far I'm really liking it a lot and I would recommend it for sure. If not this brand, then any kind of linen bedding, honestly. But I do love that Bed Threads has a huge variety of different color options to choose from and they let you customize in your bundle all the different sizes. Going with the king size has been great too because me and my husband aren't fighting over the blanket and I feel like having a slightly bigger duvet on the bed gives it a little more clean look and it gives it more kind of that like hotel vibe. I hope you enjoyed this video and that it was helpful for you if you're considering buying from Bed Threads. If you liked it, if it was helpful, anything, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that great stuff. And I will catch you on the next video. Bye.